Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today we are hiking in the Sipsi Wilderness, going north on the Borden Creek on a uh, trail that we have never hiked before. We'll see if it actually exists. <laughs> We began our exploration today at the Borden Creek Trailhead, where we descended down to the old bridge over Borden Creek. About 100 yards up Trail 224 from the bridge, we followed a faint side trail north through the beautiful hemlock forest along the Borden and Brazil Creeks. Along the way, we were very excited to catch a glimpse of the rare river otters that inhabit these waterways. We explored a small side canyon and found a deep, damp, and mossy hidden world. What a special place. After this, we continued up Brazil Creek to the Clifty Canyon, which we followed only for a short distance before deciding we needed to head back home. The purpose of this hike was to assess the trail conditions for getting to Clifty Canyon. Now that we know that the route is clear and easy to follow, we will return for a future backpacking trip and do more explorations of the Clifty Canyon and surrounding area. We return back to the Borden Creek Trailhead the way we came. We are at the Borden Creek Trailhead, just about to get to the National Forest sign. I love trail maintenance. <laughs> so many trees down on that last hike we did, wasn't there, John? Yeah. It was dry the last time I was here. Look at this, there's water today. Finally had some rain recently. It's a little bit of water in there. It was completely dry. There wasn't a drop of water. That's pretty cool. Good to see the water back. <laughs> so this is trail 224, which goes up and over the plateau. Eventually they take you to the big tree going that way. We're going to go off the trail here now and uh, do a little exploring. <laughs> wow, big campsite down here, huh? Yeah, I guess if you were not wanting to go in very far, this would be a great spot. Very nice. Just, just above the old bridge, the Borden Creek. Nice. All right, now I think it's going to become more bushwhacky. <laughs> yeah, off that way, yeah. Been pretty easy hiking so far. <laughs> the trail is pretty clear where it goes. We are going up the west side of the Borden Creek here. There is a uh, maintained trail, well, used to be a forest service trail. On the other side, uh, John and I have hiked before, but uh, it's not a very exciting trail. So we're hoping this one will be more interesting. There's another nice little con campsite here. It is right at the confluence of the Borden Creek, which you see straight out there, and the Brazil Creek, which is coming in from the left here. So now we're going to leave Borden Creek behind and start going up the west side of Brazil Creek. We're picking our way through down trees. This one's still got green leaves on it. It's a hemlock that fell. But uh, the Brazil Creek's right, right below us here. It's beautiful. Beautiful open forest here. Lots of hemlock. Old trees too. Very impressive. Woo! There's quite a pool of water here, isn't there? Woo! 
That one might have survived the drought. Yeah. Fall is such a great time to explore new places because you can actually see through the trees, you know? Wow, very pretty. So gorgeous. Big snail. Wow. That is the biggest fish I've ever. Whoa. That is a monster. Oh my God. Right, it's cool. That was a multiple feet long. Where did yeah, it go? It was a platypus. It's not, they have, it sure it wasn't an otter? There are river otters in yeah, here. I think it's an otter. Where's that? It's behind the rock from us. That, that's, it. yeah, it's probably an otter. I bet it's a river otter. So I've heard rumors of such things, but I've never seen one, but I bet that was it. Oh, certainly. See it? It probably hides under the rock down he here. Loves this bench here. Is it still under there? Well, we managed to scare a river otter into its uh, little cave home here, where it's pretty well protected. We can't get to where we can see it, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty much right below me here. That was so cool. We saw it swimming in the water, but I couldn't get a video of it. We were too far away. At first we thought, man, that's the biggest fish we've ever seen out here, but it wasn't a fish. Found a nice little campsite here with a fire ring. Buried in leaves, but nice chairs to sit on. We're gonna explore up this little side canyon a little bit. Oh, this got to be deep and dark in a hurry, didn't it? Yeah. Wow, look at the boulders. There's probably an easier way on the outside. <laughs> Jacob found a crack in this ginormous boulder. Very cool. Jonathan found an easier way. <laughs> he just climbed up the other side. Man, there's some big boulders here. We're trying to pick our way up to the head of the canyon. I'm going to try to find a way up to the ledge up there so we see. All right, we found the head of the canyon. Here's the box. I bet water runs over this in the wet season. Everything's so covered in moss and so damp. I bet this would be beautiful in the spring. Some really nice fossils in the overhang here. Come over here. Like a whole forest just washed into the sand. Yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's just covering this whole face. There's a really nice one. Wow. So much wood, maybe chunks of leaves or chunks of wood. 
So we've discovered a cave at the head of the canyon here. We're exploring into it a little bit. Such a nice piece right there. That's the start of a uh, yeah hanging. I don't know if it's out. That's a uh, that's a bacterial colony. Yeah. Is this how you came in? Yeah, we're literally right where you are. Like. Well, that was a cool little explore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so much moss. It's so nice and cushy. Different species. This one's fluffier and pricklier than this one, which is soft and wet. Where the tardigrades live, right? <laughs> Very nice. Big rock overhang. We're gonna walk along these cliffs a little bit and see what there is to see here. There's a big footprint. Somebody else has walked here. That's too big for big. <laughs> we have returned to that campsite. That's along uh, Brazil Creek here. So we're gonna continue upstream to the next canyon. Brazil Creek behind and going up the Clifty Canyon. The Clifty Creek is now off to our right hand side. But the trail is still pretty easy to follow. It's been pretty much very easy going. A few down trees, but nothing too bad. All right, the canyon is getting wild on us again. Our nice little road walk is kind of run out. I mean, there's still hints of a road here. But not much. All right, we stopped and uh, had a break, um, ate some snacks. Um, this is as far as we're gonna go today. We're just a little ways up Clifty Canyon. Uh, I know the best parts of it are, are further on up the canyon, but uh, we gotta get back today. So this was just an explore to see how much the trail is like. We are definitely coming back here someday, probably gonna camp up here somewhere and do a much better explore of Clifty Canyon. So back down the trail. Thank you. All right, back to where we came, more or less. I didn't film this when we came over it before, but this is an interesting obstacle here. <laughs> Just tree roots to stand on. Oh, that was near disaster. <laughs> yeah, that was after I passed over the hole, I broke through a log. Whew. Don't need to get hurt this far away from the trailhead. That's the Brazil Creek there. We're almost back to the junction with the Borden Creek. But man, this hemlock forest here is so beautiful. It's amazing. 
just gorgeous. We are back to the confluence with the Borden Creek, which is coming in from over there. So the, uh, the Brazil Creek ends here and Borden Creek continues off that way. And we are not very far now from the, uh, the post-apocalyptic bridge. <laughs> All right, we have returned to Trail 224. So, uh, I'm just gonna cross the bridge over here and head up to the car. Back to the National Forest sign, back to the parking area, which is right up here. That's a, that is a solid climb up the hill here right at the end. It always gets you because it's right at the end. <laughs> All right. So that was a fun hike today. Saw some areas we'd never seen before. Uh, went where there was no trail on the map, but obviously there's a trail. So definitely going to be going back there. Um, so anyway, thanks for coming along with us today and have a great week.